Um, I was born in a Baltimore city, and uh, but uh, grew up in you know an Ellicott city, and uh, my grandparents and and their parents and their grandparents have had a farm here in Talbot County, and we'd always come here for uh, Thanksgiving and uh, and Christmas and the holidays, and um, uh, you know I went off to school and. Uh, when I decided, you know, where do I want to live? You know, what part of the country is most home? You know, it's, it's home is where your family is. Yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm glad I can live here in Talbot County and be close to my family members. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful place we have here. Yeah. Uh, in undergrad, I studied textile manufacturing at North Carolina State University. So that's a Bachelor of Science. And then I also got a minor in economics there. I really love economics and accounting and finance and, and uh, both micro and macro economics yeah. and uh, public policy. I uh, represented the students of my college and our university student government. And then at graduate school at Western Kentucky University, I studied a master's in business administration there, taking accounting and finance. Again, continuing those studies at the graduate level. And I also represented uh, the students of the College of Management at uh, our, our uh, student government there as well. And I also enjoyed taking electives like folklore. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to break out of the bubble, you know, because there's a, there's a thought bubble and you need to break out of that and uh, experience, you know, other things. And that's, that's the great thing about university and the libraries, you know. Yeah. Um, after uh, university, I went into the corporate world and uh, I, I, I enjoyed working in the manufacturing industry domestically. Um, at, at factories across the U.S. and then uh, also internationally as well. I would uh, tour international factories, decide, you know, do we want to do business with this particular factory? Are they meeting labor standards? Do they have an effluent treatment plant? Are they protecting the environment? You know, so we, we want to make sure that um, we're uh, doing business in an appropriate way um, uh, for sustainability, uh, both for the environment, but also for business. You know, you want a sustainable business partner. Yeah. And uh, so I bring that accounting, finance, project management background into county council government. And uh, I, I want to see the county council government run effectively uh, to serve the residents of Talbot County. Uh, I continue working in a textile manufacturing, I guess. Uh, I run a small business and I sell online and uh, I ship uh, all over uh, the U.S. And, and sometimes internationally as well. Uh, I did turn off my phone though, so if I get an order, you know, I won't, I, we won't get a ding ding, you know. <laughs> and, that, and that's bringing money into Talbot County. Yeah. And so all these IT skills uh, have helped me volunteer on some campaigns in the past. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, my friend was like, Kyle, you know, they need county council candidates. You know, you're a good person and uh, you should run. So I was like, I will, yeah. I will run. Yeah. Yeah. One of the difficulties we face in our county is the shortage of, of taxi drivers and, and, and rideshare drivers. And so rather than saying that, you know, this is a problem someone else should solve, you know, I said, I can, I can help uh, reduce drunk driving in our county by being an Uber driver, being a Lyft driver. And so sometimes in the evenings, you know, uh, you'll see me online. <laughs> And uh, I've helped many a wedding party, you know, get home because people, people visit our county for weddings yeah. and they enjoy celebrating, uh, but we don't want them driving on our roads intoxicated. Yeah. And so uh, by, by offering uh, uh, rideshare access, um, I'm able to help keep drunk drivers off our streets, again, tying it back to the earlier theme of safety. Yeah. And so it's, it's not just a philosophy in the abstract. It's, yeah. you know, what can I do for my for my county, how can I serve my county there? And so that's just one way I can help out. Yeah. Uh, looking back at the past, you know, years on, on the Talbot County Council, um, there are certainly some meetings where it is uh, not, there's not decorum, you know, and, the, and there's, there's fighting and it's, it's very negative and it gets very personal. And uh, I, I want to really bring a sense of uh, decorum and respect and transparency to the County Council. And so when I've seen that history in the past, I'm like, that's not what I want my government to be. That's not what I want, how I want my elected representatives to act. And so I want to bring that friendly, neighborly personality to the Talbot County Council so that we can kind of elevate the decorum and public discourse um, to, to bring respect uh, to the County Council. 
Yes. Uh, my top three issues, uh, first and foremost, is uh, taxation. Uh, you know, Talbot County has the lowest property tax in the state of Maryland. Uh, I think that's a good thing, and we should remain, uh, you know, lowest property tax in the state of Maryland. Um, and the, I also really uh, value the incredible peace and safety that we enjoy here in Talbot County. So how can we uh, continue to preserve that peace? And uh, there's kind of two components to that. So yes, there's the uh, active component of first responders uh, and uh, EMS, fire, volunteer fire, law enforcement. Uh, but there's also a passive component to safety. What I mean by that is infrastructure design. So how can we make sure that our roads and sidewalks and greenways and intersections are as safe as they can be? And let's use a, a data-driven approach to look at which intersections and streets are the most prone to accidents, um, where are fatalities occurring, and how can we improve that those intersections? When I, uh, you know, I think some people in the public think about vehicle accidents as it's an accident, it's going to happen. But through our planning of the streets and the sidewalks and the infrastructure in our county, uh, we can design a safer county um, so that uh, families can uh, live and enjoy uh, the, the town um, uh, and have a better peace of mind. You know, uh, the, the third uh, major point uh, that I'm passionate about is uh, a stewardship of the bay. You know, we have such a big coastline here in Talbot County, and uh, we need to upgrade our wastewater treatment plants to current ENR standards, enhanced nutrient removal standards. Uh, we have some older plants, some lagoon plants, uh, some BNR plants. Uh, they got grandfathered into the current standards. And uh, we've slowly been replacing plants with ENR. And I believe in getting your money out of things. You know, my last car was a Toyota and I got it up to 330,000 miles. Like get your money out of your, out, of, out of your assets and your plants. But at a certain point, all good things get too old and, and the maintenance gets too much. And, and ultimately these older plants are kind of polluting the bay. And so can we upgrade these wastewater treatment plants to ensure that we're only putting clean water back into the bay? Um, and can we seek out grants uh, from the state of Maryland, from Maryland Department of the Environment to uh, help offset some of this cost? Or maybe we can share the cost. Um, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, there's also, there are also bay restoration funds. So even if you're not on public water, you know, I'm, I live on a septic system, our family farms on a septic system, there's bay restoration fund money to repair, upgrade, replace uh, failed septic tanks and failed drainage fields um, that aren't on public water. So whether you're on public water and sewer or, or septic, you know, we want to make sure that these are working systems, um, uh, ultimately to protect the bay. Uh, one of the things that separates me from a few of the other candidates in the primary is that I bring a strong background in accounting and finance uh, to the county council. And so uh, I'll, I'm really passionate about the budget process uh, to try to see if there are any efficiencies that we can get. You know, how can we serve the residents of Talbot County better? Uh, in manufacturing uh, industry, we're always looking for improvements. How can we make manufacturing products better, safer? less environmental impact. And so how, how can we do the same thing to uh, the county budget and increase efficiencies there, uh, maybe start up some new programs, but also look at some programs that are at end of life and say, is it time to sunset a program? Um, you know, and have tough conversations around that or reallocate and rebalance. You know, what are the priorities of the residents of Talbot County? What do the residents of Talbot County really need? And then what has, uh, you know, had a good run, you know? And uh, can we rebalance that money to something of a higher priority to the residents of the county? So uh, I think that passion for accounting and finance and transparency is something that uh, kind of sets me apart from some of the other candidates.